So in 2003, I decided I was going to be a roofer. Actually, I didn't decide that. Fate decided that for me. I had just recently been released from the Arena Football League. I didn't know what I was going to do. I had the bright idea to move to Vegas and try to play cards professionally. Hung around for about three months. Then I sold my laptop and my golf clubs to get back home. I realized I wasn't as good a poker player as I thought I was. I get back to Palaka. My cousin Lee owned a roofing company with another buddy. And he was like, hey, man, you come work for us till you figure it out. Pay you under the table. Who? Hmm. Eight days in. It's February. It's cold. Seven o'clock in the morning. There's dew all over these metal roofs. There's dew all over these metal roofs. First five or six days, I was a ground dude. I was making cuts. I was cleaning up metal. I was dragging a magnet, picking things up. Doing the Lord's work. Day number eight, I end up on the roof. I told Lee, I was like, look, man, I got a bad feeling. It's wet. I'm 300 pounds. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. Nah, it's just in your head. 6.7 seconds later, that revelation came true. It was not just in my head. Now, I don't know if you've ever been in the freezing ass cold with dew on a metal roof. It, it, it ain't gonna work out in your favor if uh, you're my size. One step, ass hits the roof. I'm going down backwards, head toward the ground. Three things went through my head immediately. One, I should have called into work. Two, my big ass should have stayed on the ground. Three, this is about to hurt. I made eye contact with Lee as I'm sliding down. It was like I was in slow motion. As I'm sliding down, I'm just like, hmm. He's like, hmm, I fall off the roof. And instinctually from all the football I played, I rolled so my shoulder can brace the fall. Thankfully I did, cause my big ass landed directly in between the air conditioning unit and the pool pump on this concrete. I look up, I thought I was dead. Lee takes his little limber ass down to the edge of the roof and just hangs like a monkey and jumps off like it's nothing. Talking about why didn't you just go down like this? Well, I couldn't swing at him cause my collarbone was in the middle of my chest. Ribs poking out, whole left side broke, bleeding out the back of the head, my hands gashed up. I tried to grab a hold the gutter on the way down like it's gonna hold my big ass. I'm laying on the ground looking like a 300 pound baseball park pretzel all folded up. No one ain't had no insurance. I didn't have nothing. Finally the ambulance shows up. Small town. Knew everybody. Of course I know every one of the EMTs. They put me on the gurney. Got a chopper waiting a mile up the road. I guess in Florida if you fall off a roof you gotta be life flighted. Fact check me on that. But either way I was getting life flighted. That's my first time on a chopper. I wish it would have been a cooler experience like in the Grand Canyon or something like that. My feet are damn near hanging out this thing. It was not a cool experience. Especially when I look up at this EMT that I've known literally since kindergarten. Jeff, I need to cut all your clothes off to make sure you don't have any internal bleeding. Mind you, it's February. It's cold. Daddy didn't leave me much in the first place, but you let it all out. There's somebody I've known all my life. Strange. We finally land at Shands in Jacksonville. They have to wheel me on this gurney about 400 yards through asphalt. Bam, 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 bam. And the whole time, like y'all, y'all know my arm is in the middle of my chest and all my left side is broke. We need to get you in quickly, sir, to make sure you haven't ruptured your spleen. Mind you, they've cut all my clothes off, so they just got a towel wrapped over me. Finally get me to the ER. It was National Bring a Sick Runny Nose Kid to the ER Day. It was packed. I mean, people everywhere. Wheeling me in, wheeling me in. They turn the corner, the towel catches the hinge on the door. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Cold, February, dew on the ground, naked. Pling, pling. I mean, just pling, and everybody's looking. I'm like, hey, I can't do nothing. It's cold, it's wet. Damn y'all, my arm's in the middle of my chest. Let me get better, I'll fight the whole room. First thing they do is take me to get an MRI. I had to go into that MRI face down, Superman style, as they say. My arm is right here, hanging out like dude's hand on scary movies. <laughs> get back to my little, little cubby. You know when you're in the ER and they just got you separated by a curtain? Mr. McCool, we need to check to make sure you don't have any bleeding going on. How we gonna do that? We're gonna stick a finger in your ass. Alright. Well, I can't really fight y'all off right now, so do what you do, player. And they called the doctor in to do this uh rectal exam. I don't know the doctor's name, but if I had to guess, his name was Dr. J. Because he had hands this big and could have palmed a pumpkin. It was a lot of unpleasantries to find out that I didn't have no internal bleed. Fast forward. I hear the ER people just hot. We got one coming in hot. We got one coming in. Blah, blah, blah. This older gentleman had been in a wreck. They pull him in the little stall next to me. And I heard him say, Mr. Wilson, we're going to have to check you for some internal bleeding. Did I rip that curtain back and said, bro, get up or turn over and just clinch. Don't let him do it. Now, Mr. McCool, they shut the curtain back. They're like, you can't do that. The next thing I know, I heard him go, ooh, ooh, ooh. I told you. So I'm giving him hell in the back. I heard a nurse say, well, what's his name? And I just heard my mom's voice say, he's going to be the big one in here causing problems for everybody. She said, oh, Mr. McCool. Nobody thought to bring me any extra clothes. They get me out of the bed. My big ass, they didn't have a hospital gown that could fit me. I got an arm around each other and I'm walking out of the ER. Everybody goes to laughing and snickering. They're like, what are they laughing at? I said, my ass is out. <laughs> my ass is just standing there just mooning this. I'm like, they done seen everything else. Might as well show them the whole package. That was my experience as a roofer. All y'all that roof, shout out to you, man. Y'all can have that shit.